Hello YouTube, it's uh, me, Deathmask678, with my new voice. Um, and today we are going to be making auto printers. Now, auto printers are very, very useful. Although some people say you can't AFK with them on certain servers, some don't want you to make them at all. So make sure you read the rules of the certain server that you're going to use this on. So, uh, the printers that work best with this design are these right here. The ones that spawn the money inside of them and you grab them by just hitting E. So, the printers that make the money on top, you can use, but not recommended. Because you have to, um, you have to, uh, line it up and everything. So let's put these printers side by side so you can get an idea of what you're going to want to be doing. Now this also works like you can put it on wheels, you can put it on props, you can hide them, you can do whatever, but the only thing that has to be showing to the printers is the users. So let's get started. Now step one you're going to want to get some users. Now they're going to be under the sound folder down here. User. Pick whatever model you want to use and go boop, 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 boop. Now as you see I deleted the one I put there originally because the laser came out to here. You want to make sure that your printer is blocking the laser because as long as it's blocked, it means that it detects the entity. So, they're all connected and ready to go. So your next step is going to be to get out um, your under gates. It's pick whatever model you want. You make it no collide, but you need to come down here uh, under time gates you want to go to Pulsar. Put it on the wall. Next, you're going to want to get a input output under the input output folder. You can pick a lot of these, but you need to make sure that it has a toggle and that you can uh, rely on it to stay like that. I usually use numpad input because no one can get into it unless they have direct access to your keyboard, so Unless they're inside of your house, they can't get into it. So you just, uh, yeah, make sure it's toggle, make sure it's easy to use. You can use buttons, whatever, but the input keep, well, keypad input is probably the best. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get your wiring together. Now this is probably the hardest step of them all, but it's pretty easy. Uh, the hardest step of the easiest job. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go under Reset on the Pulsar. Uh, the input reset, you're going to want to put it to the output of the Pulsar. Next, you're gonna get, going to want to go to Run and put it to your main toggled input. Now you're going to want to take all of your users and add them to the Pulsar. Just like this. And then you're going to want to turn on the input you used. And as you see, it turned on all the money, but, um, yeah, it's pulsing. So to prove that it's pulsing and working still, and that I didn't attach the users to that, I'm going to grab, let's say, some ammo. Grab some rifle ammo. I'm going to drop it right on top. Boom. So you can use that to grab any entity that you can grab from a while away. You can use it to push, like, garage buttons, anything. But be careful, because uh, some people who know what this is can grab drugs and just keep pushing drugs into it. So you want to be wary of that. But other than that... It's a good, useful thing. You can attach it to wheels, whatever. Uh, play around with it. Get what you like best. And remember to keep playing Gary's Mod. Uh, do all the rating and stuff. Goodbye.